Hi everyone, this is Evans Omambi, an international student in Ireland uh, pursuing postgraduate uh, course. Actually, I've created this short video to explain uh, what cultural shock means when actually you are trying to move from your home country to another country. Cultural shock is uh, uncertainty of feeling Sometimes you can feel so anxious, so confused, so stressed because of new culture or a certain country that you have never experienced before. And sometimes this culture shock, you can feel it while you are at your home country when you are interacting with other tribes or races with various types of traditional beliefs. It can make you feel sleepy, feel angry, feel stressed, but you know what? You need to wake up from your sleeping slumber so that you can embrace each and every kind of culture you come across so that you can live a, a good life. First and foremost, I experienced a language accent. Remember, I've been speaking Ekebusi while in my home country, especially when I'm in the village. Uh, sometimes I usually speak English when I'm, when I'm teaching my trainees in the college. So it was very hectic to, in, to be incorporated in terms of speaking uh, English in Ireland. So it took me around one month to adjust the accent and also it made me to increase my listening skills so that I can eradicate that kind of language barrier. Uh, these people actually they are very nice, especially when they notice that you are not listening very well, they start pronouncing word by word. Remember, we are international students. So when you are coming, uh, when you are coming as an international student, the professors or lecturers, they know you are an international student and they also know they need to embrace uh, each and every student from all over the world. So they have to spell word by word. Don't worry. It's a nice uh, experience to be an international uh, student. Apart from that, uh, here in uh, public transport or private transport, I was shocked that once you alight from the bus or from the car, you have to say thank you, take care. So it's, it's not like in my home country where you are right and you just walk, uh, you, you just walk majestically towards your, your direction. And also when there's a time I, I, I wanted to travel from Mene to WNC Center and all of a sudden my card will ha had nothing. When I scanned the card, the, it was 0 0.6 euros. So I was not able to pay that transport. I had said to actually get out of the bus, but you know what? The driver told me, young man, no, don't worry, go, next time you will pay. So it's not in, in, in Kenya where I, when you don't have enough <laughs> transport, you are kicked out of the matter too. So another cultural shock, uh, especially the party, Christmas party uh, is very serious. Actually, they usually come together towards the end of the year. Remember the people have been working all over the year. They are not together. You are in school. You, you, they are working. So they have to come together as a great and a meet meeting. I was shocked that during the Christmas party, uh, there were actually no public transport, no shops, no party, no clubs, no pubs. Actually, it was shocking everywhere. It happened that I, I visited my my colleague from Pocho in the police center, uh, where I realized that there was no public transport during that day of Christmas. It forced me to take a taxi from me, from Dublin to where I live currently. So sometimes it's very good to be in your family especially when there is Christmas or other holidays so that you can come together and solve some issues that you have been, they have been there for so long. 
another cultural shock I realized is kind of they actually embrace an environmental conservation. There is a time I volunteered in Royal Canal Cleanup, and uh, at that uh, volunteering activity, I found that most of the people, you know, like they are old. What, I, what do I mean? Their age. They are more than 56. Some of them, they, they were government officials. Like there's a certain professor I met. He was a professor from Oxford University. And he said that after dying again, I have nothing to work. I have to work for the environment. So sometimes it's very good to volunteer yourself to make your environment clean. And even your personal agent is green, so it is a kind of personal responsibility here. So it's kind of, it's a cultural, a cultural shock, but it's, it's, it has some lessons to learn. Another cultural shock is kind of uh, uh, volunteering. In Kenya, volunteering, you have to be given a stipend, or you have to be given lunch, you have to be given transport, but here it's free of church you just search for your fare you go there then you volunteer but the end of the results it's worth it because the embrace volunteering and that's where you meet various people and from various parts of the world remember here you the, the there are no meetings like in kenya where you can walk along the street, you meet some people they are sitting there they're just waiting to say hi yeah no here is you have to mind your own business then how how, how do they even press it uh, in interaction through uh, through volunteering another cultural shock I found is that uh, i have tried to apply some jobs and the job description they are very well they pay well and another thing they have to they embrace cycling to work. Yeah, they over you a um, uh, bike so that you can cycle to work. This can reduce actually jam or traffic jam. It can reduce environmental like hair pollution. So it's kind of culture which is nice. Now I think people here, Irish people are very welcoming, are very courteous, and they are very humble down on the earth. They are very straightforward and they are very worthy in terms of socialization. Uh, another thing I realized that uh, if you want to interact uh, with a lecturer, a lecturer is a very humble. Actually, you cannot recognize that lecturer by professor. You cannot measure the professor. I want to so be a professor. So, I so know they, they like being called their names. Like, call me Evans. Miss, don't call me Miss Evans. No. They are very humble and they are very ready to help students. So, in this short period of time, like five months, I've learned a lot. And also, I'm actually looking forward to learn more. When I get more, I will share with you. Now, if you are a, an international student or you, you dream to study abroad, uh, don't worry. The culture shock is everywhere, but you need to wake up from your sleeping slumber to interact with those people, to embrace their culture so that you can keep on moving because the world is around and this world is a universe. So we need to embrace each and every custom in whenever we go. When you resist, you get into stress and no one will rescue you. You are your own boss. You have to rescue yourself. Bye. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Evan Sumambo Visual and I will keep you updated. Bye. Take care.